My name is Seymour Simon, and I've written many books, and several of them are about the moon. This book that I'm going to be reading from today is called The Moon, and it's published by Simon & Schuster. The moon is Earth's closest neighbor in space. It's about one quarter of a million miles away. But in space, that's very close. The moon travels around Earth. It's Earth's only natural satellite. A satellite is an object that travels around another object. The moon takes about 27 days and eight hours to go around the Earth once. And here's a picture, not of the moon rising, but of Earth rising. So this picture must have been taken from the moon. The moon is so close to Earth that you can easily see light and dark on its surface. This photograph of the moon was taken through a telescope on Earth. The light places are mostly mountains and hills. The dark places are flatlands. The moon has thousands of craters covering its surface. Craters are ring-shaped flatlands with walls around them. A few craters on the moon are more than 50 miles wide, but most are smaller. Many of the craters are only a few feet wide. Look at the craters on the moon. The moon is made of rock. We can only see part of the moon, the part that's lit by sunlight. Sometimes we see the full moon. Other, th other times we see a thin sliver. Each night the moon looks a little different. Each different shape is called a phase of the moon. The phases, the phases go all dark, new moon through full moon, and back to new moon in about 29 days. From earliest times, people gazed up at the moon and wondered about it. Was the moon a world like ours? Were there living things on the moon? Would we ever be able to travel to the moon? Over the years, scientists learned much about the moon by studying it from Earth with telescopes and other instruments. But many things were still unknown. Then, in 1961, the United States government decided to try to send a person to the moon within 10 years. The space program was called Apollo. This photograph was taken from the Apollo 11 Columbia spacecraft showing the lunar landing ship Eagle on its way back from the surface of the moon. The surface of the moon is visible 60 miles below the spacecraft a quarter of a million miles away, a partly lit Earth hangs above the moon's horizon. Before the space age, no one had ever seen the far side of the moon. That's because the same side of the moon always faces Earth. Then, spaceships from Earth went around the moon. Here is one of the photographs taken by a spaceship. It shows part of the moon's far side. Here it is. You can see craters and mountains, much like those 
on the side of the moon we see from Earth, but the far side has few flattened flatlands or seas. On July 20th, 1969, about 50 years ago, Neil Armstrong became the first person to set foot on the moon. Here's his picture. Armstrong was one of the astronauts on the Apollo 11 flight to the moon. He was followed shortly by Edwin Waldron, another member of the United States Apollo 11 space flight. This is a photograph of astronaut Waldron facing the moon. The face mask of his spacesuit reflects astronaut Armstrong. Look at it again. Armstrong is in the face mask. Aldrin is the figure you see. This footprint on the moon marks the first time that human beings have walked on ground that was not Earth. The footprint, the footprint may last for a million years or longer. That's because there is no on air on the moon, and without air, there can be no winds to blow dust around. The astronauts could jump much higher on the moon than on Earth. People weigh much less on the moon than they do on Earth. The moon's gravity is one-sixth that of Earth. Gravity causes objects to have weight. In places that there is less gravity, you weigh less and you can jump higher. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, on the moon, you would weigh only 16 pounds and you might be able to jump six times as high. That means if you can't dunk a basketball on Earth, you can easily do it on the moon. That's why the astronauts could leap on the moon's surface to find out what you would weigh on the moon, divide your weight by six. Here are men walking on the moon, and that's the object that they use to drive around on the moon. The astronauts discovered that the moon is a strange, silent place. The moon has no air. Air carries sound. With no air, the moon is completely silent. Even when the astronauts broke rocks or used their rockets on their spaceship, sound could not be heard. The sky on the moon is always black. On Earth, we can see stars only at night. On the moon, stars shine all the time.